I'm finished with that. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Something. Talk to you later. If you last that long. Come on, Bob. Aunt Bet, I forgot to ask you before how Uncle Ed was doing. Well, he definitely has some kind of infection. I'm fine. So they've got him on antibiotics. We'll be here at least two more days. I noticed a letter in your roll-top desk from someone named Jane Nash. Oh, yes. She worked for us back in Phoenix when we still owned the clothing store. Unfortunately, she turned out to be totally unreliable and we had to let her go. Her letter sounded almost threatening. Oh, she's harmless. Part of her problem was that she was all talk and no show. It was Ed's idea to hire her. She was a good salesperson. She was just not a very good person. Person. Has Tex ever said anything to you about her? About Jane? No, why would he? Uh, I just wondered, that's all. She had an ex-husband or two, as I recall. Very unstable emotionally. Then how can you be so sure she won't do something to get back at you? For the same reason we fired her, dear. She's too lazy. Are you aware that there's a secret door behind the bookcase in the den? No. Oh my, you really are quite the detective. How did you discover that? Well, actually, it's a long story. What do you know about Dirk Valentine? Never heard of him. Do you know a Dirk Valentine? Isn't he that outlaw guy Shorty was carrying on about the night I got bit? I just wondered if you'd ever come across anything that belonged to him. Never. And I'd remember a name like that. Dirk Valentine. Sounds like a character from a Charlena Purcell novel. As it turns out, I talked to Charlena Purcell recently. Really? About what? About Shadow Ranch, actually. And about Dirk Valentine. She's done quite a bit of research on him. He was in love with Francis Humber, you know. Oh my gosh. You mean Charlena Purcell is going to write a book that takes place on our ranch? She's still my palpitating heart. Ed, you tell her she's welcome to visit Shadow Ranch and do all the research she wants anytime she wants. Don't I get some say in this? No. I'll be in touch. Call us anytime. Hardy residents. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? The message those petroglyphs spelled out is pretty weird. Got any hints? It's a sure bet that whoever wrote that message never wrote a bestseller. But someone who has written a bestseller just may have a message for you. Catch you later. See ya, partner. Ride him, cowgirl. Hello? It's me. So what's going on there? The message those petroglyphs spelled out is pretty weird. Got any hints? Seems to me you have to find out where Cappy's is, then find out where his keys are, and then find out who this Pappy person is. No problem. As long as you're psychic. Sounds to me like another phone call to a certain best-selling author is in order. That's it for now. Oh, and thanks for sending me that bead pattern. 
Thanks for giving us something to do. Bye! Your call has been forwarded to an automatic messaging service. I'll call back later. just a bird. It's locked. So much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that yet. That looks like Mary Yazi and Tex. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? May I see that letter Francis Humber wrote to your great aunt again? Sure. Thanks for letting me see it. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? She told me to put you right through. She even told me to make sure you didn't have to listen to that recording again. You really rate. Hello, Nancy. So what have you discovered? Do you know anything about Dry Creek? Dry Creek, closest town to Shadow Mountain. Population at its peak, 317. Leading citizen was Cappy Munger. His establishment contained the only piano within 50 miles. Frances, being as smart as she was, taught herself how to play it. That's apparently how she met Dirk. He heard her composing a song one day and fell in love on the spot. I came across something that looks like a very old token and has the words Dry Creek Merchants on it. Sounds like you have a piece of Dry Creek script. It was sometimes used in mining towns like Dry Creek in place of currency. Does it have a denomination on it? It says one and a half cents. Probably used for games. What kind of games? Believe it or not, they had some very primitive arcade type games back in the 1880s. Some were quite entertaining, especially for a cent and a half.
I came across a reference to someone whom Dirk referred to as Pappy. Probably his father, Kashmir Valentine. He was a blacksmith over in Prescott. Would Francis have known who he was? Oh, yes. Dirk worshipped his father. Which is ironic, because by the time Dirk was arrested, his father had pretty much disowned him out of shame. Talk to you soon. Look forward to it. I haven't done that yet. I'm finished with that. Need something? Did I see you and Mary Yazzie riding together? Me and Mary Yazzie? Of course not. Why, I ain't said more than ten words to her since I got here. You're imagining things. May I go riding again? Yep. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. Can't check that off till it's done. Bob. Hi, can I help you with something? Tex told me about, you know, you and him. He did? Yeah, I kind of tricked him into telling me. I don't believe it. He swears me to secrecy, then goes blabbing it to some teenager? Oh well, it was bound to come out sometime. That's kind of what Tex said too. I mean, we're in love. What's the big deal? Right, you're in love. What's the big deal? Wait a minute. He didn't tell you anything, did he? You tricked me. Oh, you're good. You are good. Is that what you were doing on the ranch when I saw you? Meeting Tex? Yes. See, Tex knows the Raleigh's and I have been arguing about that property I want to buy. He's afraid if the Raleigh's find out about us, they'll think he's collaborating with the enemy and fire him. Why are you so interested in that property? There's a whole bunch of petrified wood on it. Tex discovered it. Every so often, he'll bring some pieces in, and I'll use it in my jewelry or try to sell it. Anyway, Tex and I are in love. We tried to keep it a secret, and we blew it. You know, for a city slicker, you got a lot of country smarts. It was great talking to you. Catch you later. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? I noticed that you put a lock on one of the buildings in the ghost town. Yeah, the support beams in there are about to go. I was afraid some dumb tourist would knock into one of them and bring the thing down and I'd wind up having to dig them out. If I'm real careful, do you think I could have the combination? It's just an old shack. There's nothing to see in there. I'm just curious. Amateur detective, remember? I'll lock the place back up when I'm done. Well, if you swear you'll be careful. I'll be extremely careful, I promise. Let's see, where did I put that combination? Ah, here we go. Nine, two, seven, four. Thanks for your help. You bet.
an electrician's manual. Wonder what that's doing here. I'm finished with that. Even the crumbs are crisp. Interesting. Looks like someone's been hanging out in here. I haven't done that. Looks like I need to put in a password. Take your forks and a crank to the BDI's ranch and make sure you see what's below. When you stick the forks in and give it a spin, off toward my treasure you'll go. Interesting. That's done. I'm finished with that. I haven't done that yet. Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? Would you happen to know the brand name of crackers back in the 1880s whose slogan was even the crumbs are crisp? Not offhand, but I certainly can find out. Details like that are why so many of my books have won awards for historical accuracy. Have you read any of my books? Uh, no. But Aunt Beth has. She's a big fan. I realize that my novels aren't everyone's cup of tea. But it wouldn't hurt to at least give them a try, would it? No. In fact, I'll pick one up first chance I get. And I'll send you the name of those crackers first chance I get. Talk to you soon. That would be great. Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. If I ask, maybe Mary will let me borrow these.
Hi, can I help you with something? I noticed some tuning forks over there. Would it be okay if I borrowed them for a while? Tell you what, if you go out and find me 10 arrowheads for this display I'm working on, I'll give them to you for free. You can put them in this. I already have 10 arrowheads, see? So you do. It looks like I only need 9 to finish this display. So here, keep this arrowhead. Thanks for your help, Nancy. Those tuning forks are all yours. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Done. Can't check that off. I'm getting that definite feeling I'm not alone. Dirk custom made this, which means I'd better not go messing around in there. I saw a design just like that in Cappy's. Maybe I'm supposed to do something with it there. This outline reminds me of something. Now go and peek beneath Zebra Rock, but you'll need a magnet what's there to unlock. Now go and peek. Check. Can't check that off till it's done.
Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? Talk to you soon. You do that. Dave said to wear gloves. Pets must have turned the horses out for the night. doesn't look right. That looks right. That looks right. looks right there sorry coyotes no chicken dinner for you tonight oh my gosh my gloves they're glowing that powder in the ghost town again was anything sabotaged the power lines going to the ranch house were either cut or were otherwise disconnected from the house you mean you don't have electricity we have a generator it's pretty noisy but it sure beats the alternative but listen to this when i was exploring the ghost town i got this powdery stuff all over my gloves and last night when it was dark my gloves were glowing glowing like the horse exactly like the horse Maybe it glows because someone rubbed some kind of phosphorescent powder all over it. And if you found that stuff in the ghost town, that must be where he or she has been hanging out. Which is why I think I'll go back out there first chance I get. And another thing, Dave was suspiciously absent during all the excitement last night. You better be careful, Nancy. If he and whoever's out at the ghost town are working together, they may decide you're a threat. I'll be okay. I'm more worried about you guys. Well, the fog has finally lifted, and they say we will definitely get out of here today. What they won't say is when. It looks like I'm going to need a magnet. Any hints as to where I might find one around here? I bet if you just go to the kitchen and chill for a while, you'll find one. All you have to do is stick to it. That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding.